Hey everybody, how you doing? Everyone's always asking me, what's your everyday carry? What's your everyday carry? Well, I'm gonna show you my everyday carry bullets, which is a Federal Hydroshocks. And I'm gonna see how many milk jugs it takes to stop this defensive ammunition. Let me show you the bullets here. These are the rounds that we're talking about here. These are, if it'll focus, Federal Hydroshocks in 45 caliber. How many milk jugs do you think it'll take to stop these Federal Hydroshocks in 45, if the camera will focus there? But I think it's gonna stop in the fourth, which is this purple one here, and we're gonna catch that round in there. Let's shoot one of these quick, see where the bullet gets caught, and then I've got some leftover pumpkins. I'm gonna do the same thing how many pumpkins does it take to stop a federal hydroshock in 45? I don't know. Let's see what happens. That first jug definitely shot straight up in the air. I'm gonna have that run in slow-mo right here. All right, so let's check out what happened. First jug, massive explosion. Second jug, can see entrance hole right here and exit hole right there still not very big third jug the entrance a little bit wider there you entrance is a little bit wider on the third jug did it come out the back no it did not so that means there's probably a federal hydroshock right yeah in the third jug so i guess four pretty surprising let's see what happened let's see what this federal hydroshock looks like that we caught in the third jug boom check it out very cool did what it was supposed to do mess them out there these are defensive carry ammo you see how it mushroomed surprise me I thought it'd go through four. Stopped in the third jug, which is exactly what it's meant to do. Stop so that your bullet's not going through your attack or into anything behind it, but pretty cool. What's your guess on these pumpkins? Based off of that water test, I'm gonna say this bullet stops in a second pumpkin, but let's set them up and see what happens. All right, here we go. Federal Hydroshocks versus the pumpkins. Put your guess in the comments below how many pumpkins you think It'll take to stop this round. All right, let's see what happened. Got an entry wound here. See how it's kind of spidered out. Did it go through one? Ooh, yes it did. Look at that, kind of nasty on the exit. Pumpkin one. Pumpkin two. We got that nasty splatter on the entrance. Did it go through pumpkin two? Please no. Ooh, and it did. Actually a little bit, uh... ooh, it did go through pumpkin two. Actually a little bit less damage than the exit on pumpkin one. So, in and out, one and two. You can see the bullet is slowing down going into pumpkin number three, but did it exit pumpkin three? My guess is no. No, it did not. In pumpkin one, out pumpkin one. In pumpkin two, out pumpkin two. Into pumpkin three, and that sucker stopped. But, surprised, went further than my guess, but, Anyways, fun video to shoot. Showing my everyday carry in 45 is the Federal Hydroshocks. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what your everyday carry around is. Feel free to give me suggestions for future videos in the comments below. Love hearing from you guys and talking to you guys. If you haven't already, subscribe to the Hootie Hoo channel. Stay tuned for the future videos. Hootie Hoo!